we have seen in our previous lectures that the pedals of a bicycle is a simple machine. Why? Because we apply a small effort on the pedals to move the wheels which move a very large distance or a very long distance. So, the pedals of a bicycle in this case is a simple machine. Now, we know that simple machine have many advantages. But if I ask you, how much distance the machine moves in doing the work? In the terms of physics, this can be defined as a velocity ratio. So what exactly is the velocity ratio? Well, velocity ratio for a machine can be defined as the ratio of the velocity of effort is to the velocity of load. In simpler terms, this can be defined as how much the effort moves in doing the work and how much the machine moves the load in doing the work. So let us see in detail what exactly is velocity ratio. Well, velocity you know is displacement by time. So, how much is the displacement of the effort and how much is the displacement of the load? The displacement of the effort can be termed as DE. This is the distance moved by the effort at a time T. And the displacement for load can be termed as DL, which is the distance moved by the load at the same time t. So, if you consider this diagram, here this man is giving an effort on this bar to lift up a load. So, the distance moved by the effort in this case would be this dE and the distance moved by the load in this case would be this much dL. So, the velocity of effort can be written as dE by t and the velocity of load similarly can be written as dL by t. Now, you tell me what will be the velocity ratio? Well, it will be velocity of effort by velocity of load. So, if we substitute these terms in this formula, it can be written as dE by t which is the velocity of effort divided by velocity of load that is dl by t like this. So, you can solve this expression where the time factor gets cancelled out and you get dE by dl. So, Velocity ratio can be also written as displacement of effort that is dE divided by displacement of load which is dL. Here also both the terms are displacement so it does not have any unit because you know same factors in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled out. There can be three conditions for velocity ratio where the displacement of effort can be greater than the displacement of load. So, in that case, velocity ratio would also be greater than 1. There might be times when the uh, displacement of effort is equal to the displacement of load. In that case, the velocity ratio would be equal to 1. And it might be so that the displacement of effort is much lesser than the displacement of the load. So, in that case, you know the velocity ratio should be less than 1. Now, let, let's see some example which will prove this fact. See this example of a plier which is used to cut wires and other, other metal items. In this case, the effort is applied like this on both the handles and it moves a longer distance. But if you apply your effort here, the load will move a very small distance, you can see here, like this. So, the displacement of effort in this case is greater than the displacement of load. Like we learned previously, 
in such cases the velocity ratio would be greater than 1 so in this case the effort applied is moving a longer distance than the load so this type of machine in which the velocity ratio is greater than 1 is known as force multiplier why force multiplier because the effort you are applying is lesser than the load which is being overcome though the effort is moving a longer distance but the effort as a force is lesser than the load so these type of machines are known as force multiplier where the effort moves a greater distance to overcome the load now see the seesaw can you say which is the load and which is effort well no because for you the load and the effort might be equal also the distance moved by the effort if i say this is effort the distance moved by effort is equal to the distance moved by load like this so in these cases the distance moved by effort is equal to the distance moved by load so the velocity ratio would be equal to 1 so in machines like this simple seesaw the effort is applied uh, the same distance as much the load moves that is distance moved by effort is equal to the distance moved by load therefore in a simple seesaw one person can balance the other person because the distance moved by both the uh, both the sides are equal now see the scissor this type of scissor is also a simple machine where do we apply effort in this case on the handles of the scissors so we apply a small effort like this on both the handles on doing so the load moves a longer distance that is like this in the forward direction in cutting a paper or a cloth so in this case or in machines like this the load moves a larger distance than the effort so the distance moved by load is greater than effort therefore we know velocity ratio is de by dl therefore velocity ratio for these type of machines is less than 1 so what we are doing we are moving the load a longer distance by moving the effort for a smaller distance so these type of machines are known as distance multiplier here the load moves a greater distance than the effort unlike mechanical advantage which is not always constant for all practical machines the velocity ratio for any machine of any particular design is always a constant term because it considers only the displacement of the effort and the displacement of the load therefore the velocity ratio for machines of any particular design is always a constant term 